What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to do memory profiling in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, now in order to do memory profiling in Python, we're going to use a package called memory profiler, which is an external Python package, which means that we need to install it using pip. So I'm going to open up my command line here and I'm going to run pip3 install and then memory dash profiler. And this package basically allows us to analyze what is happening in the memory when we run a certain function, we can see, okay, now this is allocated, this is deallocated, and so on, we can see how much memory is being used. And this can be useful for optimization purposes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say from memory profiler import profile, which is a decorator. And we're also going to import a function called uh, memory usage. Those are two different things. One is a decorator that you put on top of a function. And one is a function that you actually call uh, and you pass a function to it. Uh, they have a quite similar use case, but they work differently. So we're going to look at both of them today in this video. Now for this, we're going to define a sample function, I'm going to call it my function here. And this function is going to take a parameter called list size and the list size will basically just say how large the list is that we're going to create here, or actually how large the two lists are that we're going to create here. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to say, uh, my list is going to be equal to a list containing hello, repeat it n times where n is the list size. So list size times. Um, and then we're going to say my list two is going to be equal to another list that contains world, for example. And this is also going to have list size size. Um, and then we're going to delete my list two. And then we're going to return my list. So that is a function that allocates space twice, and then also deallocates space. And we want to see what is happening now in the function. Now by default, when I just go ahead and I say my function, uh, 1 million, for example, uh, nothing is going to happen. Of course, I can print a return value, but nothing is happening here in terms of memory profiling, I don't see any information. Now what I can do is I can add a decorator on top of that function, I can say at profile. And this is then going to print information about the memory usage of this particular uh, function. So when I run this, you can see here now, uh, what is happening in the different lines of code, actually, so you can see here the, the line number, you can see the mem usage, uh, you can see how it's being changed. So you can see that this here deallocates memory, this here allocates memory. And of course, when I go ahead and add a zero, you're going to see uh, more interesting effects here. So allocation, deallocation, and so on. Uh, that is what the profile uh, decorator does. So it just prints the information. Now, one very useful thing here in order to keep logs, for example, is to define a specific stream. So let's say I want to keep track of the memory usage, but I don't want to do it just in the console output, I actually want to put it into a file, what I can do here is I can say stream equals, and then I need to provide a file pointer. So for example, I can define um, log file being equal to open memory dot log, for example, in writing plus mode, and then I can just say that the stream for this profiling is the lock file. And when I do this, you can see we have no console output, but you can see we have a memory lock. And when I run this again, and again, I think it's going to no, it's going to overwrite. But if I run the function, for example, multiple times, with different parameters, maybe uh, you're going to you're going to see that this is going to produce multiple outputs in the file, as you can see here. So that's the most basic version of it. Now, what we can also do here is we can call the memory usage function. So I can say mem usage. And for this, I'm going to remove the decorator here, we also don't need this. Uh, what I can do is I can say mem usage, uh, or actually memory usage, but I want to actually assign this to a variable called mem usage. Um, and here, what we do is we pass the function that we want to run. Now we're going to pass it as a tuple, because we're going to pass the function itself. Uh, then the arguments, which is going to be an empty tuple, and then uh, the keyword arguments, which are dictionary and my key here is going to be uh, basically uh, list size. And the parameter value is going to be 1 million, for example, uh, that is now the function itself, then I can also specify other stuff like intervals and stuff like that. But this is just how we use this function. When I print this now, this function basically takes um, the information from the function at different points in a certain interval. 
Um, and then I can just print the mem usage down here, which is going to be a collection because we have the different values of memory usage across time uh, when running this function. Now, what we can also do is we can limit the output. We can do certain things like, for example, um, max usage equals true. This is going to only give us the maximum usage that it tracked. So just the, the top value that it found. So this is also a thing, but this function in general is nice because you can track um, how much memory is being used here during the function. Now, what I also want to show you here is you can actually go ahead and you can plot the profiling. So let's delete all this here. We're going to not use a specific stream. And uh, what I'm going to do now, basically, is I'm going to call my function with 10 million. And now instead of running this here, I'm going to open up the terminal, the command line. Uh, and I'm going to say mprof and then run dash dash Python main py. And this is now running the application, you can see it produced this m profile dat. And this can then be used to plot the actual um, memory profile or the memory usage. So I can say m prof plot. And then you can see I get immediately this map of the plot, basically. And if I want to clean all of this, I can just say m prof clean, and it's going to delete all the files here. So yeah, this is how you do memory profiling in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.